Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, it has been a rainy, 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 rainy 24 hours here in uh, Arkansas. It rained all day long yesterday and all night long yesterday. Whew, such a long day. As y'all seen yesterday, Gary was over there at the mountain processing his uh, deer. We got all of that done at probably about 6 o'clock last night, somewhere around there. Got him all settled up and then uh, loaded up. And then he went home and I cleaned up all the mess from the processing. And then I just relaxed last night. Uh, it's been a long, long couple of days. Uh, what did y'all think about the processing video that came out yesterday? Uh, my dear, on Come On Mountain. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good. I think it was a, a classy process in a video. Uh, I don't think it was gruesome by any means. Uh, it's just like, you know, preparing meat in your kitchen for uh, to cook. So I think I did well with it. I think I uh, left out all of the stuff that might offend some people and stuff. Video is not doing that well. I know it wouldn't um, just because of the type of video that it is. But I think it was uh, well edited. So I think it turned out pretty good. Oh, I just noticed those big old long wheat looking stocks there. It is foggy this morning, guys. I would show y'all <laughs> more of the views, but look at it. I don't even think the camera does it any justice of how foggy it actually is. Let me get bent around this corner here and I'll show you. some research on that or maybe try to get some microphones or something uh, microphones just have add a whole nother layer of complexity to filming um, and if you buy a microphone for your phone it won't work for your GoPros and your other cameras and stuff like that they're very expensive um, to get a decent mic it's like $250 or something like that so I don't know I'm gonna look into it or see if there's a setting that uh, changes the microphone direction or something like that so i am aware of it and also the new gopro that i got from my other one breaking that they warranted out the gopro 11 uh the volume is all over the place with that as well i don't know what's the deal with that even with the camera facing me or away from me it will be good audio and then it'll just drop for a little while and then it'll spike back up to decent audio so that's not good, that's not good. Uh, I think maybe that camera's just messed up. So I might be having to deal with the old Geek Squad again and uh, to get that fixed. But the last time they took my camera for warranty, uh, it was two and a half months before they even sent me an email and said they couldn't fix it. And the customer service was not great at all. And uh, when you make your living with your cameras, uh, it's hard to just let your camera go for two and a half months. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what's happening there. I did end up just getting a GoPro 10 from old man bun uh, that he bought to do YouTube and never did YouTube. Um, so I ended up getting his GoPro. He sent it to me last week. So that way I at least have one that I can keep recording with uh, just in case I have to send it off. What is it, Domino? What is it? Come on. You want to see the people? Come on. Come on. Are you being up? Come on. Come on, get up here. Y'all can barely see him. I don't have the camera turned to the back very, very much that way, I guess. You enjoy your rides, huh? You enjoy your rides to the store? Uh, I want to try to get out there and get to hunting uh, now that I got a couple of things situated there at the cabin I think uh, Saturday I'm going to start hunting again 
I'm trying to be careful with all this fog, guys. I'm on the dirt road now, though. We're good to go. So, Saturday, I'm going to try to get out there and go hunting. I might try to go hunting this evening. I do have some things I got to take care of this weekend, so we'll see. But I definitely need to start getting some seat time in there. Because now all the coolers are empty. Uh, Gary's and mine included. Gary, Gary was so happy last night whenever uh, he was processing all of his first deer. It was cool to see. It's one thing to help me process mine and, you know, the first deer ever that you process. But it's another thing when it's actually yours and it's going in your freezer. Uh, as y'all seen, I did cook the backstrap yesterday on uh, this channel. What did y'all think about that, by the way? A little cooking uh, with me during during the old chat. It did not turn out as good as I hoped it would have. I made sure to tell Gary, do not judge that as the first time you ever ate backstrap because it definitely didn't taste as good as it can, for sure. It's just something I tried because I didn't have the right stuff that I needed to make it work. So that was unfortunate, but it wasn't horrible. It ain't nothing that a little gravy with some mashed potatoes uh, they can't take care of because there was a little bit left. So. I'll probably whip up some gravy and some mashed potatoes and maybe a couple of greens uh, today. And uh, man, the sun looks like it's white almost because of all the, uh, I don't know if I can show that on camera or not. Let me see. Uh, there it is. Look at that. Of course, it's going to go by the clouds now. And not show there it is look at it that's the sun it looks like the moon it's a whole lot of clouds and fog in the sky we're not supposed to be getting any rain today I don't think crazy Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, there's Domino. He went back in his little position. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> that sun's got me all lost my train of thought. It's crazy. But, yeah, we definitely got some stuff to do. I got a bunch of cardboard boxes that I need to take down to the dumpster. That's on the list today. They're starting to pile up. And I don't like burning cardboard because it flakes everywhere. And yeah, it just never seems to work out. Always worries me that it's going to kind of drift off somewhere and start a fire. Uh, plan on having a big, big bonfire here the first snow uh, this year. When the ground's all nice and wet and I don't have to worry about fires or anything like that, I plan on uh, picking a spot and burning all those big brush piles around the cabin. I'm going to put the uh, grapple on the tractor and just keep feeding and feeding for days and days until we get everything burned up because I got a lot more clearing that's coming up for all the fence lines and stuff that needs to happen this winter. So I need to start making some room and clearing out some areas. Uh, the reason why I haven't burned yet is because I didn't have enough area to clear it out to be able to burn. Anywhere that I would have burned would have ended up catching trees on fire because it's so wooded out there where I'm at. And I don't like burning around the cabin just because it's so old and dry. Uh, I'm always scared that it's going to catch fire. Ain't that right, Dominic? Huh? You just hanging out? Why are you looking at me crazy? You got your ears sticking straight out like a satellite see him <laughs> he's cross-eyed are you mad because i didn't give you none of the bacon egg and cheese or the sausage egg and cheese sandwich you already had breakfast this morning and domino's loving all the deer processing and uh so is eclipse uh because they get all kinds of snacks so it's good stuff but this was gonna be a short one today guys I just wanted to check in with y'all it's a rainy gloomy kind of day 
even though it's not supposed to rain and you, it literally just stopped raining probably about an hour ago so it is still very 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 wet outside there is a little bit of water in the creek it's not flowing or anything yet but I believe if we get more rain this week it's gonna start flowing again my question is when's it gonna start flowing and not stop again do you know do you know? No? <laughs> but I love every single one of y'all. I hope y'all have a good weekend. It is Friday. It is time for the weekend. Take some time to relax this weekend. Take another step closer to your goals. Reach out to somebody that you ain't reached out to in a while. And just do something kind for somebody, guys. And I can't believe it's December the 1st. We're this close to 2024. That's insane. That's insane. All right, guys, have a good weekend, and always keep it real.